All right, welcome back folks to Tips and Tricks and we're going to uh, seal this carving today that we uh, carved and also we painted and so I'm going to show you my process of how I seal my carvings and how it really makes your carvings pop because when we was painting this guy we used very thin acrylic paints and I like my carvings to have a very washed look. I don't like a plastic looking uh, you know a carving. I want to be able to see the wood grains and all that. And so he is thoroughly dry now and he's ready to be uh, put in the sealer. We call it dip and sealer, dip, whatever you like to call it. And so I'm going to slide the bucket over here now to where you can actually see the bucket here and the contents that's in it. And um, it almost kind of looks like caramel uh, glaze in a way uh, when you're looking at it with the naked eye here. But uh, all we're going to do here is just take this carving and we're going to submerge it into the bucket and doesn't matter head first feet first whatever and I grab him by the feet and then I just take him and put him under again there and again dip him let the excess run off and you know shake a little bit there and then let that just shake there for a second and then get a hold of him and then we're going to put him back over here on the paper towel. Now, we're going to slide this over without hopefully spilling it on everything. And get him over here where we can let him dry a little bit. And I let him set for a couple of minutes before I even dab uh, because we don't want to uh, rub anything raw on him, you know, as far as rub anything off, paint or wise. I just like to wait for a few minutes, allow that to soak in and to uh, uh, absorb the colors and everything. And here after a while, you will really see how this guy really uh, comes to life. So while we're letting this set, I'll tell you the, the recipe that I use. Now, it's very simple. It's boiled linseed oil, odorless mineral spirits. And I mix those two together in a bucket, like a gallon bucket that you've seen here a while ago. And then I mix it up really good. You can mix it up in a blender if you'd like, or you can hand stir it, but a blender is more effective. I believe it breaks down everything that needs to be broken down in there and gives a good flow. And then I add about an inch or an inch and a half of burnt umber oil paint. And I put that in there and then I mix it up really good, really good. And then that's it. And I, uh, I, I make a large batch of it. Uh, that way because I do a lot of carvings, a lot of paintings, and so that way I'm not mixing it up all the time. But again, I want to give you some caution. This is, you want to do this in a well-ventilated area or a fan blowing. And also too, the rags that you will use. Uh, it, this stuff will combust on its own. So if you uh, do this outside, then when you get done with your rags, soak them in water, leave them outside or a sealed container to where oxygen cannot get to them. And so, believe me, uh, you don't want this to combust on you. All right, so now we are at the point to where we can uh, start removing the excess off of this carving. And we're just going to dab. That's all we're going to do. We don't rub much on this carving. And all we're doing is taking the excess off and getting all in there the best we can, the cracks and crevices of this carving. And again, let this thing set for a few minutes before you take off or remove the excess off. And then again, when this is all said and done, you can either put a matte spray on it or a semi-gloss. I wouldn't go gloss, really. Um, but that gives it just another layer of protection in your carving. And I, you can see here, folks, now that how wonderfully this looks. It, earlier it looked very dry and chalky, but folks, this now looks like a really nice, rich looking piece. And you can still see the wood grain in the carving here. And, but this is just a neat way of preserving your piece. And also, because when people pick up a carving, and you know, we have oils in our hand, our natural oils that we have, uh, that will protect your carving from dust and stuff like this here. Doesn't mean you'll have to dust, you know, have to dust it off if you leave it on a shelf for a while, but it'll protect it. So, all right, so I think that's about it on that. And uh, we're just uh, wiping off the last minute of the excess of this guy. And uh, again, 
we thank you for, uh, for tuning in today and thank you. I hope you'll subscribe and like our channel and we'll hope to see you soon. Happy carving.